Hey guys, crew man back at you, and crude hosting is up and running. As you can see, my first, last, and only client has his three rigs up. He's got an 8x3060 Ti rig, an 8x3060 rig, both in Octo Miners, and he's got a hodgepodge with a 3070 and a 3070 Ti. And he is on his own dedicated 30 amp circuit where I track his kilowatt hours. But as you can see, with the addition of crude hosting capabilities, the shed is getting crowded a little bit. We are at about 145 graphics cards in the shed, give or take. And the fact that the entire farm is triple mining, ergo, radiant, and zill, means that it is getting a little bit hot in here. And that's fine, you know, I have the airflow to handle it. It's about 70 degrees outside, so it's about 85 in here. However, with the additional heat coming in, and the fact that it's getting hotter, I have about five or six graphics cards that are way, way too hot. And I need to start fixing them, so I'm gonna do that today. So the first one I wanna look at is over here. These Zotac GPUs are getting way too hot. I think I'm gonna take this one, and I think I'm gonna move it over here to see if that helps with the airflow. I wanna to try to do things as simple as possible, and I'll try it, and if it doesn't work, I will um, go ahead and move it to another machine, or maybe look at changing the thermal pads. But I really don't wanna change the thermal pads because that's money I really do not feel like spending right now. All right, guys, I will be right back. All right, this rig's up and running. Well, it's about to be up and running. I hope that moving this one over here will give it a little more breathing room and lower the temperature. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to RMA it. I know I still have some time left, so I'm gonna do it. I um, I RMA'd this Zotac card when it was getting too hot. It took about a month, but I had no issues and both fans work for now. Knock on wood. The next problem that I just shut off is this stupid H, uh, I think it's an HP, it's an OEM card. The fans died on it a while ago. I had strapped the case fan onto it. Doesn't feel like it's getting the job done now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two things. I am gonna move this over to this side to give it more room to breathe. And secondly, sorry, I gotta turn this off. I'm going to try to strap another fan onto this one. So I'll be right back with <clears throat> what I wanna do with this one. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a warranty on it because I bought it second hand. So I gotta fix it myself. So I will be right back on the bench with this one. So I think what I'm going to do with this GPU, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to repaste it. I'm going to try to put two fans on this, maybe two smaller ones. And I'm going to attempt to wire up a fan shroud like I did with the 1080 Ti I had that I since sold and the 6800 XT. So I'm going to try to do that or just maybe strap another one on and hopefully two case fans will work. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do and I will be right back. The fan off, there's oil and grease everywhere. It's super annoying. Uh, this thing definitely has been running for like 80 degrees for way longer than it should have. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't really get to it. Um, so I'm gonna be taking off the heat sink and you can even see the oil leaking over there with the dust put up. These HP OEM 30, series graphics cards are crap don't buy them unless you get a deal you can't refuse and then be prepared to swap out the fan shroud and everything this thing went to went to poop really fast all right guys i'll be right back when i replace when i uh, open this up to repad it thermal pads and thermal paste actually don't look that bad they actually look kind of good so i'm gonna just repad this uh the back plate screws are not on i didn't even realize that i'm gonna get those back on and i'm gonna try to do a better job um strapping fans onto this so i'll be right back repadded i'm gonna try to add another fan i'm gonna try to figure out how to strap this on uh, this is a pwm i didn't even realize which is good and this one is a four it was from a cpu cooler i salvaged it says dc but i think four is pwm so and it was on a CPU cooler, which makes me think it has variable speeds. So I'm going to try to strap these in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go into the BIOS and of my motherboard and just set these to 100. 
and see if it'll keep it cool. Because I don't really want to rewire a fan shroud right now. All right, so I will be right back. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see, I rewired it. Uh, you know, I do I rewire it? I mean, I just zip tied it. Uh, I think it'll work. I, I think the two fans should be able to give me what I need along with the repasting. And if it doesn't, I will honestly consider wiring a harness to make them controlled by the GPU controller. I've done that in a few videos in the past. I just really would rather not spend the time doing it for one, 60, one 3060 Ti. Anyway, I'm going to go put it in and we'll see how it does. The other thing I'm going to do to make this run cooler is, oh, we've got a dead fan over here. Well, that's fun. Gotta love that. Uh, what I'll be doing is I will be taking this 3060. Hold on. DI. Uh, the whole thing feels kind of hot, actually. I, I don't know if I'm going to move it or not. It actually feels hotter over here. So I think I'm just going to actually leave it right here. And um, I'll move it if I need to. So let me get this on. I do want to show you right here though that GPU number 6 is the one that was hot before. It was running at 85 degrees for a little bit. I got it down to 57. Simply by moving it from here, which is definitely hotter, over to here which has a lot less, I mean it's just a lot cooler. So I'm definitely going to be doing a bunch of tweaks like that to try to keep this farm from getting too hot or at least specific GPUs. So let me get this 3060. TI over here right in and I'll be right back. So this rig is kind of unique in the sense that I think the, <laughs> this, the GPUs that are connected to the display are covered by um, the CPU cooler for the 3900X that's mining. But the fans are spinning, they're actually spinning for everywhere. So I'm assuming it's mining. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna check it. Uh, it feels hot, but as long as the temps are in like, let's say the low 70s, mid 60s, I'll be happy with it. So. Let me go check that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've been monitoring this fan for a little bit. Uh, it's probably about five to seven degrees higher than the rest of these. Well, oh, before it was like 25 Celsius higher. So this is a lot, lot better of an improvement. Uh, as it gets hotter, if it's not working as intended, I will wire up a fan, fan shroud. But, you know, I don't... I guess the point is to spend as little time as possible on these things to make them safe. So like, I kind of don't want to overkill it if I don't have to, but if I do, I will. So just guys, another thing to improve the airflow in this shed is I am going to be replacing all of these filters today. They're all dirty. Uh, I just got my big shipment of filters. It's been about a year since I ordered a set, a big shipment anyway. Uh, these filters are a few months old. In the winter, I was able to stretch them longer. And I really, really didn't want to spend money on them when the GPUs weren't making money. Plus, it seems like they helped me uh, not get a lot of pollen in the shed. So I'll be right back after I replace those as well. Here's what the filters look like. There's the, This one is what it looks like from the outside. And this is what it looked like from the inside. So they're all quite dirty. Well, here is the replaced filters on the inside. This will go a long way towards improving the airflow right now. I already feel the air. I already feel it a little better. So just going over all the rigs, I do a once over uh, daily, but just for heat, I've been checking them all in Hive. And this is the only other one on this whole rack right here. Uh, there's a, I bought a 3070 or a 3080, I mean. I got it for like 200 bucks. <laughs> so I can't complain, but it's got two dead fans back there. So I use this uh, for now to keep it cool. I think the next time I have some uh, free time or I do some more heat related things, I'm going to swap out those two fans. I might just order new ones or I might just put a fan, you know, I might just put case fans on it. I don't know yet. I got to figure that out. And then doing a uh, once over everything over here. Uh, everything is good now on this side. I have this Zotac with a dead fan. And uh, it's fine right now. If uh, This rig did get a little hot randomly. I think it was because I had the fan settings wrong. Uh, one of the things I, I have had to do lately is I was running my fans at about 60, 50 to 60 uh, percent. And now I have them all up to mostly 80 to 90, which is fine. Uh, I mean, that's what you have to do in the summer. So, but other than that, everything is 
pretty fine. The next thing I have to do now is I just have to do uh, a little fix on my buddy's Octominer rigs. So I will do that now. What I had to do is one of my buddy's GPUs and the Octominer didn't work. Uh, the pretty sweet thing is you can just open up the side of the case. These fans were off. I literally just ramped them up and I, or I felt found the, the one that wasn't working. And I am uh, gonna go reseat it now. And then uh, I should be done. So I'll be done with this in three, two, one. I must say that Octominers are super easy to work in compared to a lot of other things. I, the more I use this thing, the more impressed I am and the more I kind of want one. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. Everything is finished. All the changes are fixed. Uh, I don't have any glaring issues in the farm right now. Now that could change by tomorrow, but as of today, everything is good. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into what it looks like to do some maintenance on GPU farms. Now, it's funny, I feel like I'm at the point now where uh, I don't think I would ever expand out of this shed for the time being just because, you know, this is a lot of work to maintain these GPUs. Even, even though the fact that, like, there's really not that much that goes wrong, I still probably spend about 30 minutes in here, uh, a day, maybe 40 minutes, just checking to make sure that all the wires are safe, there's no melted cables, and everything's just working as intended. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, summer's here guys, so we got to do our best to prepare our farms for the hotter temperatures. Good man, out.